Hi guys, this is a purple look I thought I would do. Um, I will do something kind of similar to a mini series, um, just kind of different um, sort of eyeshadow looks with um, kind of different colours. Um, so as you can see this one is purple. Um, if you would like to see how I completed my look, then please stay tuned. Hi everyone, um, so I will go ahead and I will start to um, finish the look on my other eye. Um, so rather than actually use um, a primer, I'm actually going to um, use a Revlon Quad Cream Eyeshadow Palette. It's, um, this one is in Wild Orchids. Um, so I will be taking the lightest colour and applying that all over my eyelid. Now you don't want to kind of have a really thick layer just because you might find that it will actually crease throughout the day which I'm sure you know nobody really wants. So I'll just try and zoom you guys in a bit. Okay this is actually the second time I'm doing this video. I did kind of um, already start to do it and then my camera died and I didn't realise it had been dead for a while so anyway. Um, so I am um, going to use my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and this is a Collection 2000 uh, Dazzle Me powder. This is in Stone Wash. So I'll just take some of this colour and kind of concentrate that on the inner quarter of my eyelid and I'll apply it in a patting kind of style just because that actually helps it to kind of stick to the base that we've just applied. So you should have something similar to that. And then I'll just wipe my brush clean. So same brush and then um, the rest of the colours I'll be using from the e.l.f. Studio palette. This is the medium palette. So the first colour, or colours should I say, that I'll be using are these two purples here. So I'll just kind of put a, a mixture of both of those on my brush and I'll put that over the rest of the eyelid. Again, in a pattern motion, just because it helps that really stick to the base that um, we applied. And just go slightly above the crease with that. So once we have that colour like so, then I will be taking the fifth colour down in the palette, this purple here, and I'll be applying that to the middle of my eyelid and just kind of taking that out slightly. So you just kind of want to gradually go from the lightest lilac colour and kind of gradually get darker as you go along. Then I will take the lip brush from the palette and I usually just use this as a precision brush for um, eyeshadows and I will take this colour here on my brush and I will apply that into the crease and slightly along the lash line. It just kind of helps to give a more defined look to the lid. Like so. You can just kind of bring that up slightly. Something like that. And then I'll take the third from the bottom purple. It's kind of quite a dark purple with a, a a bit of a glitter in there. Again with the lip brush I'll take that darker colour and then I will apply that also into the crease slightly making an outer V and along the lash line. I tend to kind of find it a bit tricky sometimes to try and make both of the eyes match just because I have um, a scar kind of here. 
so it always makes it look a bit different so just blending that colour up above the crease and then bringing it all the way down on the inside of the lid so you should have something similar to that then I will take um, any kind of a fluffy brush and I will be taking this colour using that as my highlight and just kind of helping to blend that down onto the top of the purple so there are no harsh lines I find the trick is always in the blending it just kind of really helps the look just kind of seamlessly graduate from one colour to the next rather than kind of harsh just blocks of colour so once you have something similar to that again I'll take my eye uh, sorry my lip brush I'll go in to this colour here and just sort of in the crease for that a bit more definition and just on the outer V and then take my brush again and just kind of blend that out so I'm now going to go ahead and line my eyelid this is um, a pencil from a brand called Sonia it's part of um, something called the Forever Living Products range I will try and get a link and put it in the sidebar for you this pencil is called Grapevine it's a lovely kind of really deep purple so I will go ahead and line just the outer half of my eyelid and slightly wing that out something like that and then line my lower lash line and just connect those lines together so to help that kind of um, stay even better I'll go again with my lip brush into either this colour or this colour either of the two darkest colours um, and just apply that over the top of the eyeliner as I say that just kind of helps keep it in place all day so I will now just curl my eyelashes and apply my mascara and I will be right back to show you how to finish the look hi welcome back um, as you can see I have applied my mascara now as I said to finish the look I'll just go back with my elf eyeshadow brush and I'll take the um, dazzle me powder again and I'll just kind of take a really really tiny amount on the brush um, you don't want it to kind of have a heavy saturation like on the inside corner um, so I mean you just kind of want it to look like there's not really very much on your brush and then all I'll do is I'll pat that over the top just to kind of give it that same pretty shimmer and that is the finished look I hope you enjoyed the look if you have any questions about any of the products that I've used um, then please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you I hope you all enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you all soon bye